All right, what's going on YouTube? Card Collector 2 coming at you here with a brand new video, and today we are back with another card show recap video, this time from our trip over to Indianapolis. So spent last Saturday over there at the Fisher's Card Show. Definitely, definitely, definitely would recommend it. There was a ton of different vendors there. Um, we didn't pick up as much as we normally do, but met a lot of cool people, and we're still able to pick up a decent amount of stuff. Um, wide variety of things from James Harden Exquisite to quarter boxes, which we will talk about here in a second. So I also got a box that you probably saw in the video. It was a $50 two row box full of random rookies, inserts, etc. So I will get into talking about that, why I picked that up. Uh, additionally, talking about the quarter box stuff, I know that's something people always ask is why do you buy, uh, you know, what are you looking for in the dollar box, what are you looking for in the quarter box, value boxes, etc. So I'll kind of flip through those and talk about why I bought what I bought um, and explain how that might be helpful for you if that's something you're interested in. So <clears throat> let's get into these, move these quarter card piles out of the way. Yeah, we'll start with the big stack. They're not in any particular order, but I know the Harden's on top. So this content was off camera, um, but picked these three cards up for $24.50. Actually handed out these on Card Talk, but picked these up. Uh, James Harden, Rookie Exquisite Auto, numbered 225. It's not in great shape. These are really hard to find in good shape. Um, it's probably a BGS 8, if I had to guess. Um, I don't know. I've never been the biggest Harden guy in the world, but I think he's a Hall of Famer. He scores a ton of points. Um, he's one of the better players from this generation. Uh, so to get a rookie auto of his, I basically got it. I would have to think about this, but I got these three for 20, $24.50. actually lost a coin flip. Um, but first year Prism Silver, I really like this set. I've talked about that before. I think this is really the modern, like this is one of the more iconic sets in the last, basically since 0304 Tops Chrome Basketball. Um, and then Josh Allen, unfortunate loss the other day, but I feel like that's not a bad price for a Josh Allen rookie auto at a 25. Um, I mean, that's less than a Herbert PSA, you know, 10 silver or, um, you know, Kyler. I think Josh Allen's one of the better league quarterbacks. I'm not sure Herbert's the best example because I think Herbert's pretty good too. Um, but a rookie auto at a 25 of one of the top five quarterbacks in the league right now, I think, um, seemed like a pretty good deal. So it's 24.50 for those. Uh, so basically, I think the way I looked at it was like 375 on these, and then what would that make that? 1075 on these, or 275 $2,075 dollars on these? My math is right. Should be right. Um, so not terrible. It's like what 18 and change on this, 300 bucks on that, 1875, 300, 375. I'm doing a lot of mental math here. This could be very, very bad. Um, I'm not sure what numbers I'm adding up at this point. It's been a long day. Um, but yeah, felt pretty good about these. Um, just stuff I don't feel like y'all have a whole lot of trouble moving when the time comes. All right, after that 20 minute uh, mishap talking about math and James Harden, let's uh, let's get back to it. So I picked this lot up, except for the Trevor Lawrence. We'll talk about that in a second. But pick this lot up. Um, from Shane, he was one of the first people I bought from at the show. This is a really, really cool lot. This is the kind of stuff I'm always looking for. You'll see it as we go through it, but this is just cool stuff. Some of this I'll keep, some of this will go out for sale and drop, I think. Uh, but pick these up first and foremost. Garnett, Larry Bird, Rodman. I didn't even look these up. I mean, the cost, I mean, it costs more to grade with, I think almost every grading company at this point than $20. So to get three Hall of Fame first year Prism based PSA 9s for 20 bucks, sure. Right, we'll buy it. Those will definitely sell in shop. So that's definitely my intention there. Uh, I have a couple of these. She was ranked the number one player in the world by ESPN um, for women's soccer. I've got two of them. I'm going to likely stash that to the World Cup, just see what happens. Uh, Breeze Refractor 04. Uh, it's numbered out of 500, 4 of 500. Hall of Famer, PSA graded, Refractor, old school for a couple bucks. Didn't seem like a bad buy. Oh, and then the big three big four cards in the lot. We'll start with this. I talked about this on Card Talk. It's just, just, this just seems cheap. Second year Devin Booker Galactic PSA 9. I don't know. I like Booker. I love the Galactic Parallel. It's probably one of my favorite insert sets. Um, so a PSA 9 of what I think, I would assume most people would agree is top 15, top 25 player in the NBA. 
would say he's got to be pretty close to that. Um, second year PSA 9 Galactic didn't seem too bad. Uh, and then the bigger three cards were the Brady's. So you got a 17 field level silver PSA 10. Love the red jersey. It's probably my favorite jersey the Patriots have had. Um, like the, the throwback PSA 10. And then you got a copper refractor. Uh, this isn't the base. This is the, N the NFL MVP one. So it's not like the best one. The best one's like the true base. This is the NFL MVP. There's like an MVP. There's a league leaders. And I think there's another one. Uh, but it's out of 425. PSA 10, Brady stuff. Can't go wrong. And then this was cool. I didn't notice it until I was setting, uh, until after, but um, 10 of 25. It's not his jersey number in the pros, but it is college jersey number. Somebody might have interest in that. I'll probably end up keeping the three Brady stuff. Those are probably going to get stashed. Um, may list one of the PSA 10s. Not sure. The tie day I'll probably keep. I haven't really thought much about it, but thought that was a really cool lot. I think this was around two grand. I, uh, this is we're recording this before the vlog goes out, so I haven't uh, I haven't watched it to see the exact amount I paid for that, but I think it was right around two k. Uh, oh, then obviously this picked this up at the end of the deal at the end of the day, around a thousand bucks. Lawrence downtown PSA nine. It looks pretty good. Maybe a Kraken resub. See if we get lucky. You know, send it in an express. Let it sit there for a little while. See if you can get lucky. Get a 10. It's a big bump to a 10. Um, so if it misses, I would have closer to 1,200 bucks in it. But if it makes it, you're you're seeing a significant bump. It looks pretty clean. Not sure. I have a couple of Lawrence cards put away, so I'm not sure I'll keep this. Especially with so much product still to come out in the year. Hard to say. Got his first win last weekend. But not sure yet. Uh, pick this slot up for like 200 bucks. Uh, Brady, first year Prism, right? Uh, apparently it's like a first year Prism show for me. Uh, but got a first year Prism PSA 8 Brady. That's right around what they do. I think they do about 110. Uh, Votto 07 Bowman Chrome Draft Futures 95. True gem rookie of Joey Votto. Sells really well in Columbus. Thought this was cool. These are like two guys I grew up watching. Uh, Adam Dunn, Austin Kearns, dual game use bat at a 400. Uh, again, that's definitely a big piece of my childhood right there is watching the Reds with my dad and watching Kearns and Sean Casey and Adam Dunn and guys like that. Uh, then you have an Adam Dunn relic out of 100. This didn't seem like a bad deal. Fitz, Reggie Williams, Roy Williams. Uh, obviously Fitz is the key one on this, but a PSA 10 rookie. 60 bucks, and then I think this is cheap. I think these do closer to like 80 bucks. Uh, Hero PSA 10 Prism Rookie. So what's likely gonna happen is I'll likely sell this stuff and keep this, right? Stash Brady, first year Prism stuff. Throw that in the collection, and then hope you know that does 80. 75's 155, 130's 190, five a piece there's 200. Break even on this, throw the Brady back for a rainy day, and uh, you know, Come time for the national, come time for his Hall of Fame ceremony, whatever. Pop it out of the box, sell it, cash in, and reinvest the money. Um, could redo it now. Again, if I was trying to get more cash flow sooner, I could sell the Brady, make a quick buck, put those back in, put the money back in and reinvest. But where I'm at in my stage of collecting, I'll probably stash this, move those, and call it a day. All right, another cool lot. Um, I bought this. This is, I think, the first deal that I bought at the show. So, I uh, got a Stafford, score rookie, was my pick to win MVP, looks great, um, looked great last weekend, I know he had like, what, four touchdowns, I think. Ricky Seals-Jones, I picked this up, actually, Dustin was the reason I picked this up, so Dustin, who uh, runs a lot of our store, um, he had picked him up in our fantasy league and had him a tight end, I'm like, I don't, you know, who is this dude, and he's a tight end for the Washington football team, so I went... I was at the show, and I was just browsing through box, and I saw the name, and I'm like, this could be decent. I think he ended up scoring as well, so I picked that up. I valued it basically at nothing. Uh, Dalton Schultz, the reason I know this is I have him in fantasy, right? This is why fantasy can be really, really helpful if you're doing it on a daily basis. Um, you know, we have a, a work league here, so 
I keep up with it pretty consistently. Dalton Schultz was like the number three ranked tight end in fantasy, right? He's a cowboy. Cowboys sell well. So stuff like this, you find this kind of stuff when you go through value boxes because you know like who's important. Like the fact that uh, Herbert, the rookie running back for the Bears, um, you know, you might not know who that is, but if you're in fantasy and you have David Montgomery or Williams, you know, guys like that lead, to, you know, when things like that happen, it leads to opportunities and value boxes. So it's so just a quick, uh, quick tip. Uh, pick this up, right? I've got Cup in fantasy. He's having an amazing, amazing year. Rookie auto at a 299 had 15 bucks on it. That seems cheap. I didn't look any of this stuff up, not one card um, in this deal, but that just seems cheap to me for one of the better receivers in the NFL this year. And then all of these, so you got out of 50, out of 25, these are all rookie patches, rookie ball patches from the National of Darius Leonard. Uh, you got one of 10, you've got two of 10, and you've got a two of five NFL logo. So in total, this lot was about $80. Um, I figured the, the ball patches you're probably to get, you know, 15 to 20 a piece on the two out of 10. So 20, 40, probably 35 on that. That's 75 bucks. And you got a little bit of play with here. Um, you know, probably not a whole lot there. Probably that's a card that goes on the shop for five bucks. That's probably an eBay auction that you get six to eight bucks on. Schultz is probably the same thing, eight to 10. Cup could do 20, 25 bucks. And then these are probably 10 bucks a piece out in the shop. So again, small, uh, not, not the biggest deal we've ever bought, but that kind of stuff adds up in time. So something to consider. All right, and then Brian and I were walking around, and I there wasn't a ton of value boxes at the show. That's one thing I will definitely say that um, I was hoping there would be a little bit more of is value boxes, right? The ones, twos, threes, fives, tens, that kind of stuff. Um, if you watch any of our show content, that's where you'll see that I like to spend a lot of the time. I think that's really one of the more enjoyable parts um, about going to shows is going through those boxes and really finding a $5 card worth 15 I, I enjoy that. So I found a, a quarter box that looked like it was a bunch of newer sleeved stuff, like fresh sleeve, not newer cards per se. Um, so I was like, we'll sit down. I ended up spending like an hour and a half there because it was 50 cents a piece or 100 cards for $25. And I actually ended up stretching some of these. Some of these are stretches just to get there because I couldn't find enough. Um, and when I went to pay, he's like, just give me 20 bucks. So I basically got these for 20 cents a piece. So I'm gonna flip through some of these, talk a little bit about them. Um, this is one of the more common questions we get on videos is, you know, how do you sell these, right? So I think one thing that's kind of missed in a lot of this that I miss personally is like, it's easy for us to pick out stuff like this for 20 cents because this will sell in Columbus in our shop for a dollar, right? I realize not everybody has that luxury. I understand that. But another thing that I think we see a lot of is like, we meet a lot of people at shows that watch the content, which is awesome. Um, so I, I was thinking about this when I was going through the box that this could be a way for you to upgrade your boxes, right? If you're setting up at shows, flea markets, garage sales, like there's a lot of ways to, that people sell cars anymore. Um, so there are some options to sell some of this stuff on eBay, but I think that a lot of this is upgrading your own dollar boxes, right? So you've got your stuff in there, but in a, a way to keep you know, keep updating them where people aren't going through the same stuff every time is to add newer stuff like this. So kind of flip through these and explain it, right? Nick Chubb, Browns, great running back, insert refractor, sells in Columbus, worth 20 cents. Devin Bush, star of the Steelers, like, I mean, not the best player, obviously that's Watt, I believe, um, but a prism rookie card of one of the Steelers starters for 20 cents, not bad. This is one that's just a complete flyer. So Philip Walker, he was in, what, CFL? and got on with the Panthers. And at one point, this is like a $50 card. This card was huge. I'll see if I can find some screenshots of previous sales of these. These did really well at one point. Um, probably not what it was at one point, but for 20 cents, you're never gonna, you know, I'm not gonna stop collecting because we lost 20 cents on this card. So it's one you just take a chance and see if it's worth anything today. Uh, Thurman Talmas, right? Hall of Famer, old school card. It's like 2001 Quantum Leaf and it's serial numbered, right? Old school Hall of Famer serial numbered out of a thousand or less is typically worth 20 to 25 cents. Most of the time they sell for a dollar pretty consistently, if not more. Clowny, right? Number one pick at one point, plays for the Browns, easy sell in Columbus. AJ Hawk, one of the better linebackers in Ohio State history. Columbus on the Pat McAfee show, which is relevant, right? Still culturally relevant even outside of Columbus, worth 20 cents. 
only reason I bought this is I bought a deal the other day that had a Jawan Jennings like Prism Red Auto in it, and I looked it up and it sells re like for like forty dollars. So I was like, I wonder if his base Prism sell. No idea what this card sells for at all. But again, at some point you you can't spend an hour. I spent an hour and a half in the dollar box in the quarter box. Did not look up one card. Imagine if I looked up 50% of these cards, how much more time that adds. At some point, you have to trust your 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 instinct and realize you're going to lose money on some of these at some point. You know, you can't hit on every single thing, but at some time, you just got to take a chance and move on for 20 or 25 cents. Damian Harris, starting running back for the Patriots. Miles Garrett, you know, one of the top defensive players in the league. Chad Johnson. Again, at 20 cents, like, these are going to sell in dollars, right? And we give people bulk discounts at times. Um, so somebody buys in like 40 cards, we might give them to them for 35. So we might not get a dollar for them, but 20 cents to 80 cents is still something, especially when you buy 100 of them. That's 60 bucks. So that's kind of what the, the point is. Stuff like this, I think, might be something we could list in a lot on eBay because there's probably more of these. These are second year Josh Allen prisms. They're just base, but at 20 cents a piece, I think I bought four. See if I can find the other one as we go through. But I'm fairly confident there's four of those, maybe a four card lot. Not going to sell for a ton. You're going to probably get $3 after shipping. Um, again, they could sell for 10 bucks a piece. I don't think so, though. Um, but that, again, adds up when you're only paying, you know, $0.80 cents for four of them. Uh, Sam Hubbard numbered from St. X. Went to Ohio State. Plays for the Bengals, right? Numbered Prism. Van Jefferson. I like the Lions or the Rams. I think they're good. He gets catches every now and then, right? Rookie for a buck. Kingsbury, coach of the Cardinals. Madison, Cook can't stay healthy. I have them both on fantasy. Madison's decent, has had some solid games. Ring of Honor, Raiders sell well. Old school tops insert, the Super Bowl. Same thing in basketball. The, the, the championship cards sell well, like Steph Curry or LeBron or KD with the trophy. Those same things typically translate to football. Um, so I picked that up. Another Josh Allen Prism. So that's four of those. Probably not terrible at a quarter, or at 20 cents. Kyler, rookie, for 20 cents, right? Uh, DPJ, I actually bought this before his big game. He's also from Michigan, though. Plays for the Browns. That's a local thing for us. Lisa Leslie, I know they started making WNBA cards again, so people are looking for him. She's obviously a legend. Uh, Chris Godwin, Penn State's local, and he plays for the Bucks with Brady. Chase Young, right, Buckeyes, Dobbins, Buckeye. Najoku, star for, uh, had a decent game last week for the Browns. Donald Driver, Packers are one of the better selling teams, typically Packers, Steelers. Cowboys are some of the more iconic teams where all of their stuff seems to move. Um, so picking that up for 20 cents. Uh, Chase Young, rookie. Chad Johnson, refractor, old school finest. Uh, Scary Terry, good receiver in the NFL, also a Buckeye. Denzel Ward, uh, again, Browns, Buckeyes, Najoku. Teddy Bridgewater, Leaf, starts now for the Broncos. This isn't a card you see every day. Hollywood Brown, Lamar's top target for now. I think Bateman's going to be pretty good. Old school Curtis Martin out of 500. Denzel Ward rookie. Braylon Edwards rookie. Not a Michigan guy, but this kind of stuff sells in Columbus. Trayvon Diggs. Probably one of the better pickups. There's a couple of these in here. I don't know if they're right here. They're, uh, they're probably in the other in this pile. But Trayvon Diggs rookie. Obviously, he's having a big year. Stuff like that. Again, not amazing margins, but from 20 cents to $2, that's 10 extra money. Again, across 20 cards, you're making decent money at that, at that point. So that's just what I'm trying to show here. Uh, Dobbins rookie, Darnell Mooney, solid for the Bears, more JK, Winston, early optic, hollow, JK, Gasecki, not bad for the Dolphins, and a Penn State guy, more DPJ, uh, Daryl Jackson, don't know much about him, but it's old school, number to 99, somebody might be looking for this insert set or old school numbered stuff, so potential there, Miles Garrett parallel, Mark Andrews rookie, um, so you'll notice a couple of these, there's four of them right here. These are old school numbered cards. These three are Joey Galloway. This one's at a 1375, 5500, and 3800. Nothing super crazy. Again, I had to take some stretches on some of these. Um, and these were, he's a Buckeye, right? And still on game day, I believe. Game day, right? I think so. Uh, cool Buckeye insert here. Kenyon Rambo was a stud punt returner back for Ohio State. Probably one of the first Buckeyes I remember watching uh, with Chris Carter, Darnell Mooney Blue. Warren Moon out of 1900. Barry Sanders numbered out of 500. Yes, it has Kevin Jones, but still Barry Sanders. Claret score. Bob Feller, refractor. Uh, TJ Watt, red, white, and blue. Chris Carter, old school tops insert. Joe Thomas, one of the better selling 
uh, Browns for us by a mile. Like, he sells really well. Juwan Jennings, Prism Rookie, again, if these do anything at all, two, three, five, ten bucks, whatever it may be, I'm sure it's not anywhere near those numbers. Um, we would have multiple of them, possible lots, that kind of stuff makes sense on eBay. Uh, Bernie Kosar, JK, JK. I picked up some Rondell Moore. It's even cheap, right? These are, he's a guy people are going to be looking for, especially if the Cardinals continue to be undefeated and get better and they get more primetime games or go to the playoffs, things like that. So I'll move the LT rookie back there. But you've got, you know, there's five Rondale Moore rookies. Possible lot, right? Put these up on eBay. Again, I understand these are small margins. I'm not trying to preach these are quarter cards into $20. That's not typically how this works. Um, but I'm just trying to give people different methods or different ways of thinking around some of these. Chubb, right? Somebody's always looking for him. He's a brown here. That helps. Um, uh, John Randall, Hall of Famer at a 3,800. LT press pass rookie. Uh, Antonio Gibson, starting running back. Deontay Johnson having a big year, probably the number one target in uh, Pittsburgh this year. Uh, Marquise Brown, again, top target for Lamar, Green. Trayvon Diggs, another one. Uh, Eddie George, old school tops insert. Kellen Mond, probably a stretch here. This is just a rookie QB. You just never know what could happen. Kirk Cousins looks good this year, but a rookie QB for 20 cents. Uh, Rondell Moore, silver. Uh, Zeke, rookie, obviously a Buckeye. Uh, Old school Drew Bledsoe at a 500. Tyler Boyd is a Bengal at a 299. Number zero numbered helps, right? If that's just a Tyler Boyd legacy insert, it doesn't matter as much to me as a as a zero numbered card though, as a zero num numbered card does. Um, typically, zero numbered cards sell a little bit better. Michael Thomas rookie, Henry Ruggs, Damon Arnett green velocity, uh, Devin Bush playoff rookie insert, Trayvon Diggs select. So now at this point, I've got two Donners and a select. I have a hard time believing that's not a $8.99 lot on eBay at the moment with the way his stuff's selling. Again, I understand shipping fees, but even if you clear $5 on that, from $0.60 cents to $5, that's you know $4.40, and we still have 90-some cards left. So, again, just trying to get creative. Uh, Bruce Smith out of 1,000, more A.J. Hawk, another Kellen Mond rookie QB. Uh, Damian Harris, and some of these I might not have bought if it was – Super easy to find them, and I didn't have to buy 100. Some of these were for sure only purchased because I needed 100 cards. But since I technically got them for $25 and got them for $0.20, cents, if I'm expecting to pay $0.25, cents, I would have gotten, what, $5 worth of them for free. So we would have gotten, what, tw you know, $0.20 cents a piece. We got 25 cards for free. So just something to keep in mind. Uh, Trey Palomalu, right, Steelers Hall of Fame, red, parallel. Uh, another Joan Jennings. Parsons, Penn State guy, and looks good for the Cowboys. Uh, Eddie George at a 2,000. Another Trayvon Diggs. Kenneth Gainwell, I know he scored a touchdown a couple weeks ago. Just never know. And LT tops all pro. Cool. So that is kind of some of the thought process behind that stuff. I did also pick this up for $50. This is this entire two-row box. I'm going to set this in my lap. It's probably a little bit easier. But some of the thought process behind this stuff, as you'll see here, I'll just pull out a couple piles. It's an entire two row. Um, this kind of stuff is great if you set up at shows. A gentleman I was working with was had sold a bunch of stuff out of this today, and he even said that. He's like, I sold a ton of this. Um, it was really great. He didn't seem too interested in keeping the rest of it. We have the ability to sell rookies, inserts, parallels, this kind of stuff, right? We list a ton on eBay. We set up at shows. We have a shop. I know that there's some avenue we can move this, even if it's not not up it. If it's not all at one time, we have the ability to sell them in multiple places. Um, so to be able to pick through this and pick out what we want for 50 bucks, throw some new dollar cards out, right? Just having fresh inventory is important. So that's kind of the thought process here. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what's in it. There's also a decent amount of top loaders, Gainwell, Jalen Waddell, uh, Gaskin, Metcalf. David Johnson, Aqueous Test, St. Brown. It's, it's all kind of out of order here. Give me one sec. All right. Uh, Porzingis, just random select base junk. Uh, Max Freed, some Chrome Baseball, Dalton Varsho, Bomb, Vassal, some select retail, Obi Toppin, uh, McDan McDaniels, Maxi, Flynn, Pokashevsky, Precious. Aaron Naismith, some Giants cards in there, LT, 
some random stuff. All right, now this pile wasn't too bad. JPP Tower Johnson, that's the light blue. That's a retail uh, SP. That might be worth something on eBay. Ingram, uh, Schwartz, Schwartz, this will sell in Columbus. CD numbered, Newsome, Jamar Chase rookie insert, Parsons blue, Tony pink, Schwartz red, Felton pink. Some random inserts, base, Greg Russo, Russo CC2 exclusive. Couple Brady inserts, those are probably two, three bucks a piece. Mac Jones rookie. Newton, some more Brady. Uh, here we go. Chuba Hubbard, or Chuba Hubbard. Uh, Justin Jefferson out of 500. ETN, uh, Peyton Turner, Eckler jersey. Right, you guys get the gist. There's a ton of stuff here. It's an entire two row box filled with like, this is what it looks like. Um, another big stack right here of top loaded stuff. I'll pull out stack real quick. We'll call it a day. Jamar Jefferson, Carter, Hubbard, Kelvin Joseph, Tony, Brady, Manning, Mitchell, more Mitchell, some pinks, Lamars. All right, so if you set up a shows, this is the kind of stuff that, you know, might take a little bit to sell it all, but there's a couple hundred cards here to be able to sleeve, top load, sort these, and get these out. Again, that fresh inventory aspect. Another uh, just random pile of stuff. So, I understand this is not as fun as buying a Luca Prism PSA 10 for 500 and selling it for 800. This takes more work, but for $50, right, if you sold every one of these cards for a dollar, you'd make a good amount of money. Not saying that's realistic. Again, I'm just I'm trying to damper expectations, but this is the kind of stuff that I think if you're willing to put in a little bit of work, you can do all right on. So, little different than our normal show pickups video. Um, I just got this box and I thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about some of this stuff. I realized we went a little long on this, so shout out to those of you that were interested in this and made it this far. Um, really appreciate it. If you guys want to see more of this, if you want me to elaborate more on some of this stuff, let me know, drop a comment, always looking for feedback. Um, but if you guys would not mind leaving a thumbs up, we would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. But yeah, for now guys, that's all I got. Peace.